Step into the world of a beloved TV classic where the bar was more than just a place for a drink. It was Cheers, a spot where everybody knew your name. Running from the early 80s through the early 90s, this series brought wit, humor, and an ensemble cast that became an essential part of American television history. With the likes of Sam Malone, played by the charming Ted Danson, and Diane Chambers, portrayed by Shelley Long, the show unfolded in a Boston bar, serving up a cocktail of laughs and genuine moments that resonated with audiences for years. It's hard not to mention the iconic Norm Peterson, played by George Wendt, whose entrance would elicit a chorus of Norm every time he walked in. Then there was the erudite Dr. Frazier Crane, played by Kelsey Grammer, whose later spin-off series only added to the legacy of Cheers. The show wasn't just about the banter behind the bar. It touched on relationships, camaraderie, and the fabric of everyday life. Each character brought their own quirks, flaws, and relatable traits that made them endearing to viewers. Among the many scenes etched in memory, the moments between Sam and Diane held a certain magnetic tension that kept audiences hooked. Their love-hate relationship danced on the edge of frustration and affection, leaving an indelible mark on fans. As for the classic Hollywood actor, many would argue that the portrayal of Coach, played by Nicholas Colasanto until his untimely passing, remains a standout. His warmth, innocence, and gentle humor endeared him to audiences, making his departure from the show a poignant moment for fans. So, what about you? What scene or character resonated with you? Was it a particular exchange between the bar regulars or a moment that captured the essence of the series? Share your cherished memories and personal experiences about Cheers in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and reflections on this iconic show. In Cheers, Kelsey Grammer set a lasting record as Dr. Frazier Crane, spanning two decades, including the spin-off Frazier. This marked a significant achievement for an American actor in a comedy series. Grammer's portrayal of the character contributed to the show's enduring legacy. Meanwhile, the character dynamics added a touch of humor to the series. Diane's distinctive way of addressing Norm and Cliff as Norman and Clifford became a memorable quirk. On the other hand, Woody brought a unique politeness, addressing everyone except Sam, Eddie, and Carla with titles like Mr. Miss or Dr. Carla, known for her sharp wit and sarcasm, had a full name that reflected her larger-than-life personality Carla Maria Victoria Angelina Teresa Apollonia Lazapon Tortelli Lebeck. This mouthful of a name added a humorous element to her character, showcasing the show's knack for blending comedy with distinctive character traits. These tidbits offer a glimpse into the charm, and humor that Cheers brought to television. From record-setting performances to quirky character interactions, the show left an indelible mark on the landscape of American sitcoms. Sharon Stone, Kim Cattrall, and Marg Helgenberger auditioned for the role of Rebecca Howe in the acclaimed TV series Cheers. The show, which began in 1982, became a cultural phenomenon, setting records and leaving an enduring legacy. Interestingly, Paramount Studios had immense confidence in Cheers' potential. In a unique move, they assured producers that if NBC were to cancel the show, new episodes would be produced for first-run syndication on Paramount's network up and. Fortunately, this contingency plan proved unnecessary. Notably, the iconic bar set used in Cheers is no longer accessible to the public. In 2006, the Hollywood Entertainment Museum, which housed the set, closed its doors. Currently, the set remains in storage, but there are plans to reopen a larger museum in the coming years, where fans can once again experience the nostalgia of Cheers. These intriguing behind-the-scenes details shed light on the show's journey from auditions to the storage of its iconic set. Cheers, with its blend of humor and memorable characters, remains a timeless classic in the realm of American sitcoms. After Ted Danson's departure from Cheers, NBC aimed to keep the series alive by having Woody take over the bar. However, Woody Harrelson, who portrayed Woody Boyd, declined to continue without Danson. Interestingly, this decision shaped the show's course and dynamics as the producers had to navigate a different direction. Despite this, Cheers continued to captivate audiences, showcasing the resilience of its ensemble cast. The behind-the-scenes negotiations and the impact on the show's evolution provide a fascinating glimpse into the challenges and decisions that shaped the beloved sitcom. Shelley Long's initial reluctance to commit beyond her first contract set the tone for the early dynamics of the 1982 TV series Cheers. Long, driven by a preference for a movie career, never intended a prolonged stay. This decision had significant implications for the show's trajectory. 
In contrast to typical sitcom practices of the time, Cheers was shot on film, a costly choice that initially burdened NBC with financial losses due to low ratings. Paramount Studios, considering cost-cutting measures, flirted with the idea of transitioning to tape. A test scene on tape, however, was met with disdain from the producers, solidifying the show's commitment to its film format. Amidst the challenges, tensions arose between Kelsey Grammer and Shelley Long. Grammer, portraying Dr. Frazier Crane, clashed with Long over the alteration of the romantic dynamic between Diane and Sam. According to Grammer's autobiography, Long even attempted to strip away all of his punchlines. Long, however, denies this claim. Their reconciliation later, during Long's guest appearance on Frazier, added another layer to the complex behind-the-scenes dynamics. These early decisions, from Long's career aspirations to the unconventional filming choice, shaped the course of Cheers. The show's resilience, despite financial setbacks and cast conflicts, exemplifies its enduring impact on American sitcoms. Ree Perlman's husband, Danny DeVito, was a regular presence during Cheers recordings, even though he never made any guest appearances on the show. His consistent attendance added a unique behind-the-scenes dynamic, showcasing the camaraderie among the cast and crew. While Perlman was known for her role as Carla, DeVito's supportive presence added another layer to the show's off-screen atmosphere. This insider insight into the Cheers recording sessions provides a glimpse into the tight-knit community that contributed to the show's success. From Perlman's on-screen sass to DeVito's off-screen support, the Cheers set was more than just a work placite, was a collaborative environment that brought the characters to life. Amidst the success of Cheers, a poignant moment arose in the series with the passing of Nicholas Colasanto, who portrayed Coach. The latter half of season three saw a unique challenge as the episodes navigated the absence of Colasanto's character. His final consecutive appearance was in The Mail Goes to Jail, with the last episode filmed entirely with him being Cheerio Cheers. The show creatively addressed his absence in subsequent episodes, explaining Coach's whereabouts, and in the season four opener, revealing his passing. In a touching tribute to Colasanto, a picture of Geronimo, a cherished item from the actor's dressing room, became a symbol of good luck on the set. Cast members would touch it daily, fostering a sense of connection, even after it was painted over during a set repainting. The series finale, One for the Road, paid homage as Sam adjusted the picture, acknowledging the lasting impact of Coach and the actor behind the character. This behind-the-scenes glimpse into the challenges faced by Cheers highlights the series' commitment to honoring its cast members and the unique bonds formed during its production. The legacy of Coach, embodied in a simple yet meaningful gesture, resonates as a testament to the show's enduring camaraderie. As we raise a virtual glass to bid adieu, let's take a stroll down the memory lane of Cheers, that timeless beacon of camaraderie where everybody knows your name. The laughter, the quirks, the unforgettable characters each episode was a cozy refuge, a place where the complexities of life mingled with the simplicity of good company. Perhaps you found solace in Sam's charm, laughed at Norm's barstool wisdom, or rooted for the romantic dance between Sam and Diane. In this sanctuary of wit and warmth, we weren't just viewers. We were honorary patrons, sharing in the joys and woes of the regulars at that iconic Boston watering hole. Now it's your turn to share. What resonated with you in those nostalgic moments at Cheers? Was it the banter that felt like banter with old friends, or maybe the poignant life lessons hidden in the laughter? Whatever it is, we'd love to hear your cherished reflections and anecdotes. As the credits roll on this conversation, remember that the spirit of Cheers lives on not just in the episodes we've watched, but in the shared experiences we carry forward. So drop a line below, clink your glasses with fellow enthusiasts, and let the reminiscing begin. Thank you for joining this ode to camaraderie.